Asphalt Reflective Teacher Challenge. Oh, it's the last one, day 30, which should have been done a month ago. And if I'd known it would have been this easy, I would have started with this one, which I'm sure once you say the question, uh, well, once I say the question, you'll pretty much know what my response will be. <laughs> day 30, the prompt is, what would I do as a teacher if... I love that. If I wasn't afraid. Uh, <laughs> and I've seen this like a lot on the internet, like live like you're you're fearless. What would you do? What would you try if you weren't afraid of failure? It's just like, what? I'm clear like like I, I understand why that's an important thing to like push on people and an important idea to get out there. What would I do as a teacher if I wasn't afraid? I'm not afraid of anything. I am fearless in the classroom, I just, yeah, if I wasn't afraid, I'm not afraid, I go crazy in the classroom, uh, I do all kinds of stuff with the kids, and try my best to provide any kind of opportunity I can, I fail on a daily basis in the classroom, every single day, there's at least one failure, maybe, maybe, I'll start, well, maybe, I kind of want to start a vlog, Fail Friday, where all week long I'll try my best to document all my failures and then put them all out in a Friday compilation for Fail Friday, just so you guys can see, like, there's there's nothing to be afraid of. It's, it's education. It's a process. I'm, I'm fearless, so I pretty much just do all kinds of things. One of my favorite things that I say, mostly sarcastically, when someone's like, oh, you can't do that, or... Oh, aren't you afraid of this? Be like, I do what I want. I have a union, which is not actually, you know, what I believe or how I feel. But, you know, if, if it's good for my students, I've talked about this before. If it's good for my students, I'll do it uh, pretty brazenly. And if I don't think it's good for my students, then I won't do it. But fear is never an option. So I encourage you educators out there, if you watch this, uh, whatever you're afraid of, just stop being afraid of that seriously because it's holding you back once once you let go of being afraid of failure or being afraid of trying new things in the classroom and taking risks uh, the level of awesomeness you can achieve in the classroom increases exponentially and that also really shows and models for your kids what they can do and why they shouldn't be afraid to try anymore and they shouldn't be afraid to get out there and just go berserk and just see what happens and understand that failure is not the end uh, it's just another step in the journey thanks for watching everybody those were the teach thought reflective teacher challenges the and put those things down in the comment and or video response area